Uh, my name is Manuel. Welcome to House of Aromas. I'm gonna talk about a couple of things today. <clears throat> First off, got a new one. Just got back from Drug Emporium. I've been keeping an eye on it for a while, and uh, I've talked about another one that's, to what I understood, was from a, a review that I had uh, read about. It almost resembles this, the Chroma uh, Limited Edition. But again, the new one that I got today is a uh, Chrome, a Zara Chrome Intense. I'll show you the other side. Brand new. <laughs> And uh, I haven't opened it yet. So it was my first impression on this. <clears throat> the fun thing was, I saw it there at Drug Emporium. They had a tester bottle. That one was 40 bucks. This same size. The whole presentation, 34 bucks. Tell me, when are you gonna jump on, right? All right, so again, brand new. Check it out. Have any of y'all tried this? What's your, what's your take on it? Let me know. So I'm gonna do a little, do a first impression, then compare it to the other one to see, see if it's true. Again, the box is in the same kind of, uh, you know, the Zaro Chrome comes in. But this is like a gray box, but it has the blue square in the middle. It has like that diamond, I guess diamond uh, metal to it. Any of y'all seen those toolboxes? Nothing on the side. Well, ingredients, excuse me. Ingredients on the side. Barco on the bottom. Nothing on the other side, top, nothing. On the back side has a picture of the bottle itself. Ain't seem to open it. So, if Almost the same as the chrome, but a little bit more darker, uh, darker juice to it. Same, you know, cap. Locks in. Here we go. Trying to fix this up. Good sprayer, just like the other ones. Okay. It's, 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 it smells just like the uh, the original Zara Chrome, but again, you know, soapy, fresh, nice, a little bit more, more, more intense. I guess you can say, you know, what the name says, intense. You don't, I, I can't smell the, the metallic to it. You know, like the the original Zara Chrome. If I can reach for it. Again, this is the, I've had this bottle for years as I'm almost down to the bottom of it. This one, this one, you can smell the metallic. Again, this soapy. I mean, this was uh, fresh. Again, metallic, but this one's don't. I mean, this one, you you can't smell the metallic. It smells more fresh. It smells more, more soapy. I like it. I like the intense better than, than the, the original. And again, it was compared to the limited edition. So again, I still got this one in here, just just for for the sake of. I'm going to spray it again. Get another tester strip. I'm gonna let this sit up here. The the limited edition will be in the thicker uh, thicker te tester strip. Now this one, you have to be careful. I'm just seeing right now. I don't know if you can be able to tell, but it seems like the uh, juice, you know, the juice itself is blue, blue. Like if you put on your on your white shirt, y'all be careful with that. It's gonna stain it. This one's more fruitier. The limited edition. This one's more fruitier. So I, I don't see where where they compare it to it. The other one is just a little bit more soapier, but the the limited edition is more fruitier. Again. I like both of them. Both of them good. Again, I, I, I seem like I'll probably enjoy uh, those two more than the original, in my opinion. 
Yeah, a little more soapier. This is more fresh, more, uh, more, more, uh, more, uh, 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 what I say, fruitier. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, to me, uh, out of both of them, I guess this one, the, the original Zorro Intense, the Intense one, probably like after shower, I think you can wear something like that, just a little more, uh, you run a few errands, stuff like that, but this one, I mean, it's not say, I'm not saying it's going to be a beast mode, it's not going to be a beast on, you know, on you, and, but it seems like it would, it would, uh, it would, uh, project a bit more better, like it's more for like a club sit, sort of. Because the fruitiness into it, it's got like a little bit of sweetness to it. And the other one's a little bit more soap fever. But again, those are my take on both of those. And uh, also, I'm going to talk about my sin of the day. So, I've been working on something. Uh, I've been mixing some stuff together. I've been mixing uh, the Thai Bahamas St. Bart. And so, what I've been doing a lot lately, these last two or three days, first I hit myself with some coconut oil. And y'all know what they said. This is this is sort of you know what it sort of smells like. So with the coconut and the little rum and, and citrusy notes in this one, what I'm trying to get at? <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm just trying to get as close as I can for uh, Virgin Island waters. I love it. I love that smell. Uh, again, we went to drug import. I saw it. One seventy two, one hundred seventy two dollars. I can't do it, man. Not, not right now. I can't do it. I can't do it right now. And hopefully in the future, you know, I've seen some of these clone houses that uh, they sell it. Sensual uh, Obsessions, I I'm looking, debating if I'm going to get it. Uh, Trey sent me a little sample. And so I'm just trying to find, a fi uh, find the perfect opportunity to wear it. I did that. I'm not working. Then me and my wife go wild, you know, go get some dinner or something like that. That's when I plan to wear that one. But again, it's a little mixture that I'm doing. My wife seems to like it. She, she told me that it smells good. Uh, again, this I just put this on my skin, spray myself a couple of times with the uh, Saint Bart, and uh, and then I throw my shirt over and spray just two two more sprays on my shirt. And uh, again, she says she likes it, so I'm not saying it smells like it, but you know I'm just experimenting, trying different things. But again, have you ever tried anything like that? Uh, what does y'all take on these uh, uh, Zara Chrome? Have any, any of y'all picked it up? Let me know. Leave me a comment down below. And again, do not forget, this Friday, this Friday, I'm going to say between 3 and 4, y'all keep, keep an eye on, on, on YouTube when I post my video. It's going to start where I'm going to do a drawing. Oh, here it is. I need to have it up here. Michael Jordan, legend. Beautiful scent, beautiful. Brand new box. Giving it away. Finally hit that 50 mark. And, uh, and I just want to thank each one of y'all, you know, just for, for subscribing and for staying tuned for the word of encouragement. You know, each I love when y'all leave me comments. I try to respond to, every, to everybody that I leave a, that I see a comment on, even on my old videos. As soon as YouTube, re, you know, re, uh, uh, notifies me that somebody left a comment on it, I try to, you know, reply right then and there. And again, y'all stay tuned. Starting Friday, I'm debating probably Saturday evening or Sunday. Do a drawing, but again, more details tomorrow. But it will start tomorrow around three or four. I'm gonna drop a video, let y'all know. Uh, probably just talk about my sin of the day, and, uh, and then we start from there. And I'll give you more details starting tomorrow. So, again, Friday, starting Friday between three and four. All you gotta do on that video for Friday video is leave me down a comment on the below saying you're in, put you in for that drawing, and uh, again. Little something that I, that I bought purchased for, with my money. Again, I was going to give, you know, I remember, I don't know if y'all seen my old videos where I was saying I was going to give like a little 5 mil, 10 mil uh, decan of uh, whatever I had. But I decided just to buy something and then uh, show my appreciation for y'all. I mean, my appreciation to y'all. And again, like, share, subscribe, share the videos, uh, share my videos, let people know. And uh, we're still doing this and um, start coming out more and more videos and uh, y'all stay tuned. And again, when you smell good, you feel good, all right? Y'all stay blessed.